Getting to the post. Race 10, Phillies and Mares, condition Pacers, one mile. Purse, $3,000. Field of nine, drivers change in the two. Ten minutes until post time. Here's how they line up the one sleepy time girl, held by Ron Patrick of Kerry. Rhonda Patrick trains Donovan Jr. drives. The two, Barney Lou, held by William Kale of Eaton, Ohio. Jack Tiger is the trainer. Drivers change to Joe Essig Jr. Joe Essig Jr. The three eavesdrop, and then trained by Ira Kreitzer, West Alexandria, for Brent Holland. For Maggie Cochran, owned and trained by Johnson Hill Jr. of Centerville, Randy Tharps aboard. The five and McFanny, owned and trained by Bob Colley of Ashley for Brad Hanners. Number six, always be happy, owned by Jason Ash of Dublin. Mike Reardon trains. Mike Wilder drives. The seven, logable, owned by Dick Elwood of Lancaster. Rick Hartman trains for Dave Miller. Number eight, Linda Lonell, owned by Charles Blank and Chip of Asheville. Leonard Amplin trains with Hugh Bailey Jr. in the bike. And the nine, a little later, owned by Jim Hackett of Worthington. And Kruger of Westerville, Chad Norman trains, Jeff Fount in the Sonke. Win play show perfecta trifecta wagering, nine minutes until post, nine minutes. Tenth race, pacing fillets and mares, lining up and moving in. On the back stretch, there they go. And they're off, and it's Maggie Cochran, the first for the lead from the outside, a second, always be happy. Towards the inside, eavesdrop and sleepy time girl from off the pylons fourth. Into the first turn, fifth at the rail. It's Barney Lou on the inside and sixth, a little leader. Two lengths, seventh, and McFanny. Another two lengths, eighth, longable. The trailer is Linda Lonell. Approaching the first quarter mile marker, Maggie Cochran calling the shots here by two. On the inside and racing is second, it's eavesdrop. Opening panel in 27 and two, and fillies and mares in straight alignment here. As they come past us, always be happy out there with us third. Here comes Barney Lou moving first to the outside and fourth. Locked in five, sleepy time girl. To the outer flow in sixth, a little later. Followed closely, seventh by Logable. Shuffle back, eighth on the inside. It's Anne McFanny and Linda Lanell. Continue to trail, but she's onto the outside and moving. Approaching the half, five of the inside and four to the outside. It's Maggie Cochran, seven to one shot for the lead. The half, 59 and three. Big breather here for Maggie Cochran. Swinging to the back stretch, and Maggie Cochran by a length, but Barney Lou is now there at the leader's wheel and pressuring the pace. Eavesdrop sits content. She's locked in third to the outside, gapping cover slightly fourth a little later as Fout works out a perfect trip here. Buried five of the inside. It's always be happy to the outside and sixth. Longable, three quarters, one, 28 and one. Around the final turn, and on the inside, Maggie Cochran, Barney Lou sticking right with her. And a little later, poised to strike. Three wide to the outside, eavesdrop, waiting for the inside lane. Here comes Longable, three wide as they turn for home. Lost at an eighth, and down the stretch they come. Barney Lou puts a nose in front. But on the inside, Maggie Cochran is still there. And between them is always be happy. Phillies and mares coming from everywhere. At the wire, it's Maggie Cochran, very tight from their back. Into the winner's circle, unofficial winner of the 10th uh, race, number four, Maggie Cochran. Five-year-old daughter of Oil Birder for the Rent Handover Mayor video game, owned and trained by Johnson Hill Jr. of Centerville, Randy Tharps in the Sonke. Third win of the season, and that only a fifth of a second off her career best. Tonight's mile, 157-3. and three. And for Randy Tharps, two wins tonight, giving him a driving double. Trifecta 497, $1,724.40.